Hello everyone, this is Leon here and this is me and Louise condensing the first two hours of Ratchet and Clank down into eight minutes. What was the first one out on PS1? One? No, two. two. Two, yeah, it was two. This whole bit's got like a, like a Star Wars Luke. Luke wants to sign up for the Rebellion kind yep. of vibe to it. Look how fuzzy he is. His little ears. Yeah, he's really fuzzy ears. And his tail. Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I, I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh-huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always some here. Kind of elephant? I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do he's with those galactic without He's an elephant without legs. He's got ears. Maybe his like, parents were like half elephant Come on, and half. Grim. These are the Rhino. galactic rangers Rhino. we're Warhawk? talking about. Did Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Mike Brown's ship. Now get on that boat, Frank. Desert. Now it's time to start the core thing of the Ratchet game, which is hit everything. Oh yeah. Smack the red the barrels. Lego barrels. Games that from yep. Lego oh, games covered this. Such a satisfying noise yeah. as well. There's some bits later on where you kill loads of stuff, and there's just so many nuts and bolts. It's like ASMR, as it all like twinkles and like flies into your backpack. Why would you build a workshop in a Deserty, rocky place full of killer frogs. Uh, security. <laughs> they're, they're guard frogs. Mm -hmm. okay. It's kind of reassuring to play a game where you can only go one way, yeah. you can only <laughs> kill so many things, and all you need to do is smash stuff up. Okay. See, if this is all it takes to save the galaxy, I wager the galaxy isn't in that much danger. You couldn't jump like that. For a moment. His chin's really distracting. Oh, I forgot he's got weird fingers as well. He's only got like, like that. Mm -hmm. We want you. He is physically impossible, isn't he? Like if you were that shape, you'd, you'd be on the floor, yes. asking for help or death. He's shaped like a Dorito. Yes. Or a slice of, like of baby bell cheese. No, Twice. laughing cow cheese. Laughing. Dairy Lee cheese. Other cheeses are available. Yeah. Yeah. Other cheeses are available. <laughs> the guys doing the voices must be old men by now as well. Surely. Well, we are not dead. <laughs> like, I'm sure they still have the same voice. No, but I mean, but they would have been like kind of, I don't know. What was it? Ten years ago? Fifteen. Oh. See, if you've got a production line set up to build one kind of robot, it's got to fuck up pretty much to make the really cute one. Yeah. That's not like just a spanner out of alignment. That's a whole other thing. I'm glad you're looking at the science behind this. Yeah. That's what's important. It's it, the make, it makes one thing at a time, and somehow it made one completely different thing. Yeah, but look at him. I hate running towards the screen. I hate it. Crash Bandicoot started it with boulders. Do you yeah. remember this third level? No, 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 no. And it also hurts my thumb when I become very aware of my thumb. <laughs> like, I'm never normally aware of having a thumb when I'm gaming, but... You're, are you surprised by your thumbs? Mm -hmm. Like, you look down. I look down and I see it, and it's... Yeah. And again, who's making a factory with a, with a handy grenade dispenser? Like at some point I during many uses for a handy grenade dispenser. But at what point during the planning does an architect go? Do what would be really good would be just a regular supply of grenades in this one corridor? I always remember these kind of games as well when I was growing up. When you completed one, it was like the biggest thing you'd ever done. Oh yeah. Completing a game was literally huge. Yeah. And it's also because they were much harder. Like. But also, you only had one at a time, didn't you? Yeah. You had a game, and you played it until there was nothing left to do. Yeah. And also, you became really used to things like the loading screens for stuff. Yeah. Like, I have a... Do you remember the start of Crash Team Racing? No. A Naughty Dog Creation! <laughs> it's weird Computer thing. Entertainment Europe presents... Yeah, because I just played it over and over and over. That's a weird voice. That's what you did. Say something else in that weird voice. No, because it's just Naughty Dog Creation. No vector shift. It appears to be intact. See, that's a more useful animal to have to hang around. I must get to Alero City. Those little blowy things were really cute. I killed them all. Yeah, of course you did. 
I didn't realise either until I'd killed a lot of them that you don't get anything for it. Or just murder. Just yeah, just murder. I smushed them all with a wrench and then I suddenly realised... Did they do something fun to be pop? Oh yeah, they pop. They make a funny noise and they pop. Yeah, you yeah, you've got to do it, but yeah, you don't, you don't get anything for it. They don't do anything. Oh, they do. Yeah. The thing is, are you started now? Like, I mean, maybe they'll, they'll no. bear a grudge and they'll come back later. It's like I think we have to kill all the children as well, so no one comes back. Where do you kill all the children? Well, Game of Thrones. Any anywhere where you get you, like you know kings. Or the young and... pad ones. Yeah, exactly. You they have, to, you have to, to die. Kill the bloodline, or they come back right, and get where you. Where am I going? Yeah, flashy, flashy, flashy gun, gun thing. Massive flashy gun, gun thing. Buster. You must have really strong arms. You have a gun that size and try to do it. You could do it. Yeah, I could. Look. Not with a gun yeah, like that I size. I can spend the whole time doing this. Play like yeah, this. but like the gu that gun weighs a ton. It's a big True. metal thing right. like that big. Right, well, I'm gonna swing it. You'd be no. dragging it along the floor. Ah. How have you done? I ran off the edge. I'm sure I'll be fine. So once you get into the. Cave. Did you always do me play? You jump a lot, thinking you moved a bit faster. Yes. Did I just do that? Yeah. It was one of the first worst games for kind of like. Have I missed anything? Yeah, obsessively collecting yeah. stuff. That's what, why I still play yes. all the Lego no, games. Just... So the Lego games are like the crack version of this. This is like a, like a like a like a fine wine or a brandy. It's no, like, the, like the connoisseur's version of collecting all the no, shit. No, I much prefer the Lego version than this. The Lego, this Lego version. Open. This is too open. This means you have to hunt in everywhere. There's not that many places you can hide in Lego, really. The Lego version is like licking the tin foil on the bathroom floor version of collecting, collecting studs. It. Yeah. But everyone you speak to that has a platinum trophy will probably have it from collecting everything in a Lego game. Oh, this is pretty. They do good good views, don't they, do. they? For a game basically about smashing the shit out of stuff. They know how to do a good view. Of uh, course that was always the thing with older games as well, like having these massive worlds ahead of them. Like you were just so incredibly fascinating that you could see a place and then go to it. Like you, that felt like the biggest thing ever. You also you just didn't know everything. Like if you know, like now nowadays, like by yeah, the time we know we, mechanics now. We go oh, so that does that. Yeah, but nowadays, by the time a game comes out, the only thing you don't, the only thing you haven't seen is the final credits. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't want to know any more about this, don't watch any more of this, please. <laughs> Well, it does look like the fastest way down. This looks fun. Let's give it a shot. I already want to jump in and not know where it's going to end up. I collect all the things first. Like every summer holiday Saturday ever. Do we ever have nightmares about going over the side? It would always happen to me. wash up the sides. There was one. I was gonna go over. There was one that used to terrify me. That was like a big thing that you went down like that. So you went the through coin, a slide like and then you coin. went around the coin. Yeah. yeah. And, and that coin one. In the charity box. I went in one of those. Oh, that was, was always awful. right on the yeah. edge of like I've made a mistake and I wish I wasn't doing this. Yeah. Look, mushroom. Made a box. Good. Why? Because science. Okay. Well, I'll clear the sand sharks. And you. Yeah, you kill everything. Oh wow! They're they are exciting. Sharky. They look like that Pokemon. That Pokemon. Yes. The one with the teeth. What the hell is that? Someone to shoot. Throw a grenade in his mouth. And that one. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Excuse me. <laughs> what was that? It was me being pleased. That you killed someone with fire? Yeah. Do you have different noises for, for what you kill people with? Yes. That's the fire noise. That's the fire noise. That's the TA. Flames. 